Here, Dave Klepik uh, talking about proof point security awareness training. Dave, uh, can we start with this idea of phishing simulations that customers can can go to test their users? Yeah, so we have a number of different ways that we can run simulations, uh, five in particular that you see here, but they're all replicated to show what is happening in the wild and you could run a simulation based on what you see. So we have multiple different te uh, templates that you could use that are taken from the wild as well, identified through proof points threat intelligence. And we even show you what the average failure rate amongst our global customer base. But because we tie in with Active Directory and Microsoft Azure, we make it easy for you to run campaigns to specific groups within the organization or multiple groups within the organization. But we can also tie into the information from existing investments like our very attack people product in, in targeted attack protection. And then we can run campaigns against people that are seeing specific types of attacks and how they are going to react in a simulation format. So we have that capability. Perfect. Thanks, Dave. And then what happens if they, if they fail a, a simulated fish? So immediately they'll be sent to what's called a teachable moment. If they thought they were going to a one login page and they go to this, what we see is they're typically going to X out. But we're not going to try to train them in that moment. That's why we call it a teachable moment. We're actually giving you the ability to auto enroll them into training based on their behavior. So you will be able to pick whichever module you like or multiple modules, and you could choose between which type of module. Um, and then you can even send reminders to that individual to complete those modules once you create this campaign. So, so all this can be scheduled out, and as you put it together a campaign, you can schedule out who gets it, um, what happens if they fail, what are the, the training materials that they get, and then what the reminders are set to. Can we do reporting? You know how everyone does on this. So if we have an enterprise of thirty-five thousand users, can we show, you know, just how this went? Not only can we show how it went for the entire thirty-five thousand user base, but we can even break it down into different groupings. So you make it easy to digest on on a micro level as well. So you could look at it from a campaign by campaign basis and see how your end users behaved. But you can also look at trend data, like failure trends and reported trends. We want this to be going down and the reported emails to be going up because that demonstrates good behavior. But we can even dive down further into more micro information like total links clicked over a period of time or see how one individual performed in multiple campaigns. This is going to help you not only hold your end users accountable, but to see how you're progressing over time through a program that's, that's effective uh, within your organization for security awareness training. And can we help delegate this? So if we have an end user, can we, you know, show the leader of a business unit or a manager how these employees are doing and how they're doing? Yes, it's a great question. Our platform will allow you to create um, what we call views. And you can create views for different segments of the organization or different locations. And then you can export those reports to be sent to the key stakeholders within those groups to make sure that they're holding their team accountable for security awareness training ultimately creating that culture of security awareness training throughout the organization. And Dave, can we get into that training a little bit? I know that, you know, there's different modules that, that we give and different videos. And then do we offer that in different languages as well? Yeah, we have over 40 different language translations um, that you could use. So, you know, they're all localized in their translation. So you'll see multiple versions of English here, multiple versions of French. Um, we have a number of uh, a number of translations that uh, you don't typically see out there, not just the popular ones, but we also have uh, other translations and we're continually growing that as well. And that's available for all of our content, whether it's phishing or training or assessing. And, and how many different modules do we have? Because my thought is we need to put training specific to the threats out there and what we think our users are weak on. Yeah, absolutely. And not only will we have over 231 training modules that you could use right out of the box, but you can create customized modules to reflect the specific nature of a threat within your organization or a threat within your industry. Um, you would be able to customize the content within the modules as well at no additional cost per module. So you can have an unlimited amount of modules and even break modules down into specific groups for locations and different language translations. That's all a capability that you have within the platform. Dave, we appreciate the overview. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.